Good morning, friends. This morning we're going to be making some modifications to this evaporative cooler. Last year I adjusted the float valve so that more water would come out of this tote that's behind me. There's not enough pressure in the tote to make the seal open up and close up correctly. I plumbed it into our regular household water system now so there's enough pressure to make the float valve work correctly. Now I need to move it back to where it was. It's pretty easy. There's only two screws to take out of the top and then the entire back cover lifts off. I'm busy resetting the float valve level in this evaporative cooler. You can hear the fan running. I need just to keep it running so that the greenhouse doesn't get too hot while I'm making this change. Hello. <laughs> Hello. The whole point here is to get this float level down a little bit more. Yeah, if, if you can take a look to see where the liquid's actually leaking out. Look from the other side. Be careful that this fan is on. Right. Let's see. Go to the other side to look. Okay. To because I see it coming up down in here. Okay. And That's where I had seen it run down here before. Right. And this evaporative cooler has an overflow that's designed to take some of the water out of this reservoir and dump it outside. That's so that it keeps the mineral content down. Oh, snake. Yeah. Awesome. I wonder what kind it is. I don't know. I don't know if you can tell. Like, to me, the, I, I, my impression is the pattern is the same with everybody. Yep. You know, you've got this ridgy stuff that's like a track vehicle on the bottom. And then you've got the scale you, stuff on the bottom. You can look at the head. It looks like a gopher snake. <laughs> That's cool though. Now we still have a drip and it's partially spinning it out from the side. I think it's okay. Well, I'll see if I can I'll see if I can do something to seal this up.
This cooler has an overflow. The purpose of it is to siphon off part of the water out of the reservoir. That helps keep the mineralization down. Well, we're finished with that small modification to this evaporative cooler. What I was really doing is putting it back the way it was when we originally got the cooler. Now it's not overflowing, but there is some water coming out anyway. Part of it comes from the overflow that's specific to siphon off part of the water out of the reservoir so we don't build up too much mineral deposits. The other one is the water naturally flips out of these veins on the side. It's not a whole lot, but I'd rather not have any, but at least it's working and it's cooling, which is great. It keeps our tomatoes a lot happier than what they've been. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications because we're always doing something here on the homestead. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later. Bye.